Hey guys, John Drew here, bringing you guys another competitive Pokemon analysis video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Great Tusk, a past Pokemon found in Pokemon Scarlet. Before all that though, I do want to go ahead and thank you guys so much for the support, but I do want to go ahead and say that only about 10% of you guys that watch these videos are subscribed. So if you are not already subscribed, be sure to go down there and make sure that that red button is clicked. It's absolutely free. It helps me out and it helps you out because it pushes these videos out to you. And obviously if you're here, you must enjoy these videos or this topic in some capacity and I upload many videos like this. With that being said though, let's go ahead and get into Great Tusk. So Great Tusk is a ground and fighting type Pokemon. The ground typing paired with the fighting typing is really nice because the ground types can hit the poison types that otherwise wall the fighting types, making a lot of types hit neutrally by these stabs. Defensively, this type isn't that great. It's weak to a lot of really common things in this current meta like ice type, psychic type, flying type, water type, even grass type. It's got a lot of weaknesses, but offensively, much like the other Pokemon that we've talked about, this Pokemon just destroys. Stat-wise, this Pokemon has a really good stat distribution, 115 HP, 131 in attack and defense, 53 special attack, a very low 53 special defense, and actually a really solid 87 speed, especially on a rapid spinner. Now, this Pokemon's a very good physical attacker, and it can also be a very good defensive sponge, a very crazy HP plus defensive stat, so it can take almost any defensive hit that you want it to. As far as special defense goes, you're probably going to have to throw an Assault Vest on this Pokemon for it to really take any good special hits. As far as moves go, the first four moves that I do want to talk about here are going to be Headlong Rush and Close Combat. Those are the two most common moves you're going to see on pretty much every single Great Tusk. Obviously, this is dual stabs and both of them do the exact same thing. They are just different types. Headlong Rush was a new move introduced in Legends Arceus that was a signature move for Ursaluna. It got distributed a little bit more this generation. I believe Great Tusk and Hariyama, I think, for some reason, got this move. So this Pokemon basically has two forms of close combats in both of its stabs. This Pokemon is also debatably one of the best rapid spinners, if not the best rapid spinner in the game, ironically right beside Iron Treads, which we will talk about on Sunday, Saturday, two days from now, whenever this is uploaded. This Pokemon also has access to Knock Off. This allows it to hit something like Gold Dangle that might want to switch in with an Air Balloon. It also lets it knock off just items on maybe a Corviknight that's switching in because you may not two-shot it from the range that it is at. Great Tusk does not get that many great status moves. I have three up here that I do think are worth running. And then I'm going to go over one more coverage move because this Pokemon does get very immense coverage with things like Fire Fang, Thunder Fang. But there's a few too many moves to go over in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over one of the moves. And then in the comment sets, if we run any of the other moves, it may get like Play Rough, Iron Head, one of the Fangs, then I'll talk about that. This Pokemon can prevent, you know, screens, willows, defogs, even though defogs not that common anymore. Taunt on this Pokemon is very, very nice. You also have Stealth Rock. It's a very good Stealth Rocker. It's very similar to Mamoswine in the sense that it forces switches so it can get rocks up very easily. But at the same time, you're probably going to want to click an attack because it has 131 attack. And it's also a lot bulkier than Mamoswine. So even if you get the play wrong and you get your rocks up, you are going to be able to take that hit, assuming you are in on a physical Pokemon. This Pokemon also gets Bulk Up. This Pokemon can set up to sweep for itself. Bulk Up plus Rapid Spin, you get the Speed Boost as well as the Attack and Defense Boost. And we haven't even talked about its ability yet, which we will get to in a minute. But Bulk Up is going to be really nice for that. You are already going to live the physical hits regardless. So it's more just for the Attack Boost. But this Pokemon, unfortunately, does not get Swords Dance. And then lastly, I wanted to talk about Ice Spinner. I think Ice Spinner is nice on Great Tusk personally because it allows you to hit opposing Great Tusk. As well as common things like Garchomp and even Clodzire if you don't want to get the money. Minus one, minus one. I do have six sample sets for you guys for Great Tusk. The first one that we are going to talk about apparently is a pretty common one on the ladder right now. Uh, shout out to my buddy Kurt for showing me this one, but it is Hello Corviknight, and you are basically just Terra Electric with Terra Blast, and this allows you to, I don't even think you can do a KO uh, defensive Corviknight, but it allows you to hit the Corviknight for some feasible damage and not take very much damage back. Uh, and then I just went for the last three moves, rapid spin, dual stab. You could probably switch those out. However you please, maybe you want to switch knockoff on there so you can hit air balloon, gold dangle, whatever the case may be. And then I went leftover so you have some form of longevity with this Pokemon. The next one is going to be a set that has been destroying any singles team that I managed to build. I don't know why. This is one of the, not only is this one of the most used Pokemon, this is one of the most used sets on the Pokemon apparently, or I just keep running into it for some reason. We are booster energy, which boosts your attack once you get in with this Pokemon, max attack, max speed, and we have rapid spin, headlong, rush 
close combat and knockoff and basically the whole idea with this is once everything is in range of a uh, essentially a life orb close combat or headlong rush you send this pokemon in and you get the booster energy you click rapid spin so long as they have no ghosts and then you're set you just kill everything this pokemon's already pretty fast so it could outspeed potential scarfers the only things that really threaten this are going to be like chi and pal and Bax caliber in the back but even then this pokemon is so stupid bulky fit on the physical side of things that it can take a hit from either one of those things not both but it can take a hit from either one of those things so this pokemon could definitely just clean up in games and personally i think that this is the best set i think that you if you play it towards your in game this is probably the best set and you can also just use it as a support pokemon because you still have rapid spin and it's still just stupid bulky i think that this is the best great dust set in my opinion the next one we're gonna have is just a standard rocker we're leftovers we're rock and knock and then we're just dual stabs you can switch either the dual stabs for maybe uh ice spinner if you want to be opposing great tusk i suppose whatever you're feeling i think this is the best set for this and then you are leftovers for any form of longevity i went max attack max speed on this set you could easily go max hp max attack if you wanted to or even a more defensive set if you felt like that was a little bit better the next set's pretty common as well we are av great tusk just rapid spin knockoff dual stab max hp max attack adamant av allows you to actually take hits on the special side of things which otherwise you can't because you have base 53 special attack and this makes it overall just a really good wall in some ca in most cases excuse me those first four sets i do believe the first four that we have talked about are by far the great one the excuse me the best ones on great tusk i'm still iffy on the hello core of night obviously it's very anti-meta but it, it's good right now i think it'll probably die out as time goes on just because of how overwhelmingly strong this pokemon is and if you manage to get any chip on corp Knight, then you're good to go but i do think booster energy is by far the best set and then rocker av are also very good sets and then the next set that we're going to talk about is still a very good set we have choice band again dual stab we are knockoff and then you could go rapid spin if you want for the last slot I personally, if I'm playing a Choice Band Don fan, Choice Band Great Tusk, I'm not going to run Rapid Spin on him unless I, you know, I absolutely need it. I am so scared of Hazard Stack. I'm going to throw Ice Spinner on there. That way I can catch opposing Great Tusk off guard and potentially get a knockout on those Pokemon. And then lastly, this set, I don't know about this set. I couldn't really think of a great sixth one. We are Protect, Bulk Up, and then we're Earthquake, Brick Break, because Close Combat and Headlong Rush both lower your special attack and defense, and that's kind of counterproductive to what this set wants to do. We're Last Move, Protect, because we want residual leftovers recovery, I guess, because this Pokemon is so bulky that that leftovers recovery can make a difference in the end game. You could also replace that with Ice Spinner, Knock Off, uh, you know, if you're scared of Go Dangle, if you're scared of Opposing Great Tusk, so which you might even be opposing great tusk with the bulk up especially that they get minus one so that's why i don't really think ice spinner makes a lot of sense i do think that knockoff definitely makes a lot of sense but i don't know let me know what you guys think down below these are the six best sets that i could think of again by far i recommend booster energy that set just can win games in the late game and it's just such a good set and this pokemon is honestly one of the best pokemon that are introduced i really like it i've enjoyed using it i have not enjoyed playing against it but let me know your guys experiences down below with this pokemon whether you've enjoyed it whether you like this pokemon any other sets that i may have missed i would really appreciate any feedback that you guys have down below I'm trying to learn and grow with you guys as you guys are leaving me comments and I really want to thank you guys again one last time for the support. It's been immense. We have passed 700 subscribers. I was at 636, I think, whenever I started uploading again. So I really, really appreciate it. And that's all, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.